Hey, Captain Chris Myers here, Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. And when we're out sight fishing for redfish, big trout, black drum on the flats, we got a clear water and a sunny day, you're going to see a lot of fish that are surprisingly close to the boat. Quite often, a lot of the fish you get shots at can be within 20 feet of the boat, sometimes even less. A lot of times there, you can just drop your lure into the water. Seems like those would be the easiest ones, but quite often, those are the fish that people have the most problems with for two reasons. One, the closer they are to the boat, the sooner they're going to see the boat, the less time you have to get it to them. If you see that fish that close and you're not ready and you have to look down, flip open your bail, you've already lost your advantage. The fish is probably gone. Another reason people have difficulty with that, those fish is the only way they're used to casting is by lifting the rod way back here over your head and launching that thing out. If that fish is right here 10 feet off my rod tip, 5 feet off my rod tip, not only does he see this big giant movement, but the only way I can bring that to that fish is to drive it down to the water. Or I have to let it go way up in the air and then again, if that thing comes from way up above, that lure is coming from way up here, it comes down like a cannonball in the water. When we're dealing with fish that close, quickness, accuracy, finesse. It's got to get right to them. And the easiest way is you hear the difference in the splash between that and how much quicker that got to the fish. And I'm stopping it with my finger. I've drug it into his path before I even worried about closing that bail. Because I want to get that lure to him as fast as possible. But how many of you practice casting the fish that close? So here we are in the boat. That fish could be here, he could be there, he could be right in the middle. So we need to be able to flick it backhanded. And you can see that the lure isn't coming more than a foot or two off the surface. It's right there off the tip of the rod. I don't come around and over so the lure doesn't come up in an arc and land in a big cannonball splash. I have it reeled up pretty close. If I get a lot of line outside my tip like this, it's hard to control where it goes. And I'm not ready for those real close fish. So when I'm fishing by myself, I'm up here with the trolling motor on, trolling motor right in front of me, and I'm just going along nice and slow. And a lot of fish I catch are right there. Now this is about the only time you'll see me cast one-handed because I don't need to get tip speed. The tip's barely moving. I'm almost laying this down in front of them. So I can do that one-handed. You know, generally, if we're casting out farther, we always want to use two hands. That's where you're going to get your accuracy. Here, it's so close that you really don't need that bottom hand a lot. But this is something you need to practice because I see over and over and over at this cast right here, people don't ever do it. And so instead of that lure going like that, the lure comes around like this, lands at a big Cannonball, now I have to take one, two, three turns just to get it moving. That might have, that can and often does make the difference between you catching that fish and you watching that fish go flee in terror because it saw you or the boat or something else it didn't like. So when you're out fishing, especially if you're a flats guy, practice your short game. Your short game is often where you're going to catch a lot of fish, especially on sunny days. You need to be prepared and be ready to be able to hit those shots when it